Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson with Ms. Rafa. Today's lesson is about the listening skill. So get ready and let's get started. Listening and speaking. Before you listen, use your dictionary to match the following vocabulary to their definitions. In turn, a doctor who is still training and working in a hospital. Lockdown. When people have to stay where they are, and can't move freely due to a risk. Social distancing Being on your own and separated from others. Double shifts When the period of time that you work is twice as long as usual, Isolation Staying away from other people to stop a disease spread. Key worker Someone who does a job essential for society. Now B Listen to Lucy talking about her experience at time of COVID-19 and decide whether these statements are true or false. Hello everybody, my name is Dr Lucy. I am a medical intern in a hospital, London. Nowadays, we have a lockdown because of COVID-19. We have also prohibited any information flights, as well as regional flights. We are ensuring that we are practicing social distancing we have also had non-essential services temporarily closed and the situation looks good and hopeful. Being a key worker in the UK during this time, when we are faced with the difficulty of a new virus, we doctors are really, you know, pressured with double shifts. And when other doctors go into isolation, we are more than happy to fill in the spots because our priority is the patients. Please do read credible sources for example, the World Health Organization. They have regular updates where you could be updated and it's very important that you don't read any other sources that aren't credible because this could provide an area of misunderstanding and misinformation that's been spread. So to everyone, especially the youngsters at home, currently now, I know that we are all missing our family and friends. Just be encouraged to know that this will soon be over. Our life will go back to normal and we'll just look at the world in a totally different way. Lucy works and lives in London. True. Flights are allowed throughout London during the pandemic of coronavirus. False. When other doctors go into isolation, Lucy feels depressed to fill in the spots. False. In Lucy's opinion, all sources about coronavirus are reliable. False. Lucy is optimistic about the future and thinks that the situation will be better. True. Now see. Tell the class what other procedures can be taken to avoid this pandemic. We can say a lockdown, no flights, social distancing, and non-essential services.
Now let's move on to speaking. Look at these two pictures and discuss the questions below. Match each picture with the kind of medicine, traditional or alternative. It refers to what other alternative therapies do you know? Is alternative medicine common in Syria? Mention an example. Why have most societies been using alternative medicine recently? In your opinion, which type of medicine, traditional or alternative, works better? Have you ever tried an alternative medicine? Tell the class. B. Use the information from exercise A to complete the table. Now let's move on to the activity book, page 29. Listen and guess what the talk is about. Good morning everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the medical advances after the First World War. Despite the enormous human cost, the war did have some results, precisely in the field of medicine, as new medical equipment was urgently needed and quickly developed to deal with the huge number of injuries. The new weapons used in the war caused many deaths, and those injured suffered very severe wounds, and this pushed the medical establishment to build on recent discoveries and come up with solutions for the new problems which faced doctors. X-rays use became much more widespread during the war to help detect fragments of bombs and bullets buried in tissue. Stretchers for carrying the injured had also been developed to rescue the wounded from the battlefield by sending in stretcher bearers to bring them back as quickly as possible. The profession of paramedic who is able to apply first aid in the field also comes from this time. Blood transfusion was impractical in these early days at the time of the war and by 1917 indirect transfusion had been developed and blood stored on ice for up to 26 days. For many this was the most significant medical breakthrough of the war. The war also saw advances in treating wounds which demanded the patient to be unconscious while undergoing medical procedures. In 1917, Henry Boyle invented an anaesthesia machine and operations done without pain. A wonderful innovation. I'm sure you'll agree. The talk is about the medical advances after the First World War. Listen again and complete the sentences with words or phrases. The First World War caused many deaths and injuries, but also had some results. X-ray imaging was used widely and helped doctors detect fragments of bums and bullets buried in tissue. Stretchers were used to carry the wounded or we can say the injured out of the battlefield. Paramedics who are able to Apply first aid in the field were first employed in the First World War. In 
1917, Henry Poyle invented a machine for making patients unconscious before operations. Now see, order the following words as they are mentioned in the talk. One World War One Two X ray Three Paramedic Four Blood Transfusion Five Anesthesia or we can say anesthesia. Now speaking with your partners, discuss the following questions. Have you or anyone in your family ever undergone a medical operation? What was it? What medical device was used during the operation? How did you feel after the operation? What advice can you give to other patients who are going to have an operation? That's everything for today. Thank you for your time. See you next lesson.